Okay, I got two antennas wrapped up in here, if I remember right. One of them is a gigantic homemade beam, and the other one is an Antron 99, I think. I think it's a 10 meter or 11, I don't recall. I think I might have tuned it in between. I don't remember, but I played with CB a lot back then. So I might as well put this one up on the tower as well in case I decide to break out one of the old CBs. Let's see what's in here. Okay, I'm gonna try to skillfully pull out the uh, the big fire stick without ruining this plastic because there's a lot of parts for that beam. There it is, the old Antron. Wow, I was worried about weight. I mean, this thing is virtually, I mean, nothing. Nothing at all, but that five band ham one's quite a bit more to it. So I need to come up with a mounting mechanism here with, I don't remember if this is a tuning dial here or if that's just for a support, which unfortunately I'm gonna have to order a mounting bracket for that. Maybe try and get it two day overnight because I don't want to jury rig that part. Okay, so my first step is uh, this is the used antenna that I bought. The five band. Um, I need to put some PL259s on here. So I got the new soldering kit from the Grand uh, Unboxing a few months back. So I'm going to try and get this uh, all set up for coax. We'll see how it goes. I'm not going to film any soldering, that's for sure. Okay, I'm thinking maybe I should have done a practice one first, but I got my phone here and I got a really good YouTube video. I have soldered before, but it was many, many, many years ago. Okay, so there is my first piece of soldering work. I had to file it down. It was quite globby. Thank goodness for YouTube, though. I watched a few videos and I think I got a good enough connection. I checked with the ohm, I checked it with the ohm meter and I think we're golden. Okay, I've been doing some reading on this five band antenna and I took some heat for the PVC insulation around the antenna mast and now I know why I did it. And I ended up undoing it. Okay, so now nothing to do with stability, but everything to do with the good antenna mount is uh, I got to cut these lengths of PVC and fit them right about here up to these welds. All right, and I am done for the day. I'm toast, but we are just about ready for antennas. I know it don't look pretty, but I'm on a timeline here. But now I gotta redo it again, except I'm gonna do it with the uh, Gorilla Tape and some Flex Seal. But let me show you exactly why I had the PVC shielding on there, okay? And this is why right here. If you mount it on a tower, it can cause some issues and to correct the problem, you may be it may be done by using non-conducive mounting mask mast such as heavy fiberglass or slide a PVC over the metal mast. The coax or mounting bracket should not be directly grounded. I repeat, should not be directly grounded. This is counterintuitive to your normal antenna mounts that are directly grounded, i.e. the mount right to the steel mast. So for this particular five band antenna, you don't want it mounted. That's why I had the PVC on there. And I questioned myself and now I'm gonna go back. I'm not gonna use PVC this time though. I'm gonna use some heavy tape. So that is where I got this from on the antenna instructions themselves. Eight, 
Okay, you are not allowed to have a nice day down here in southern Illinois. It's pissing rain again. I'm just finally getting a little bit of traction here on the antennas. And now I got to call it in. I got all the electrical stuff out here. Um, I had to tape up the, the coax ends there to protect them. So that's the base of an Antron 99. I had to uh, kind of jury rig it. I used this uh, stock steel because I didn't have a proper mount uh, like that one. And I'm on a timeline here because I got 10,000 other things to do. And I'm getting a new hip in a week. Um, so this was just to spread the pressure out from this cut, this aluminum mount bracket here. So that's going to be an Antron 99. That's going to be a 2 meter. And then the big one, the 5 bander, is going to go here. And this is all shielding. This is Gorilla Tape and uh, PVC Tape. I, I didn't quite have enough, but i got to shield all the rest of this. You remember the PVC I had on there? And I took a bunch of heat for that. Now I remember where I was told and where I read to do that. It's for this antenna. This needs to be shielded. No ground whatsoever when you mount it on a tower. So I knew it. I knew there was a purpose I did that. So anyways, this is it for now. It's raining and I'm going in. So stay tuned till next time. Okay, so the uh, CP22E is very, very easy to put together. It has a phase coil here between the top two sections. Very easy. Um, the bottom part is threaded machine screws on your left there, and the ones on the right are self-tapping metal screws. All right, uh, the top just has the rubber duck lid. All right, and then this... The two sections simply screw right into the base of the antenna. These three stainless um, ground planes, if you will, screw in and then they have a lock nut. Very easy. I'm not going to put this top antenna on until I get it mounted out there. And so you slip in the coax, set these two set screws, put the top part on and you're done. So let's Let's see if we can get this project going here. And this was one of the main culprits that started me off in reverse today. This is LMR 400. And I ordered it with fittings. Uh, I assumed they were 2 meter fittings. Which is just a shame. I had to cut the fittings off and, uh, and put on some PL259s. And I'm going to tell you what, if you've ever done this you know exactly what I'm talking about these do not fit well on LMR 400 I mean not even in the remotest but uh, my friend Tom told me he's done it many times so I did it and I think I was successful but this took probably at least a, an hour or two right off the bat so I couldn't even get started so uh yeah, frustrating project, but I'm going to keep at it. Okay, so now it's the next day, and I really thought I could put this tower up today. <laughs> it is just not going very well at all. Not well at all. Uh, I'm not even going to get into all the issues, but I have the three bases mounted. Um, that's the big 20-footer, 5-band. That is the... Uh, Antron 99 and I've got the sleeve mounted for the two meter now I decided to guy this big one to really I mean that's going to give it a little extra support uh, the manual said you could guy it um, with uh, nylon rope so I thought well you know that PVC there it may or may not affect the uh, harmonics it may, it may or may not affect the usefulness of the antenna but either way this antenna was a hundred dollar investment so i think it, it just needed that support and i think it'll work so uh yeah today it's in the 20s yesterday it was raining and it's frozen i am frozen right now so time to call it in i have no idea when i'm going to get this thing up the clock's ticking so stay tuned.